Hello everybody, uh, I'm Dr. Shahnaz Chaudhuri. Uh, I'm the Associate Professor and Head of the Department of Community Medicine. I'm working at Bangladesh University of Health Sciences. Uh, thank you everyone for giving me this opportunity. I'm going to present my paper today. Uh, my paper is on perceptions of health insurance among consumers in Bangladesh. Uh, basically, uh, what I have done, we have done, uh, I, I have done this study to see the health insurance uh, awareness because in our country still there is no uh, health insurance scheme that is provided from the government and very little amount there is uh, from the private organizations. Uh, the epidemiological transitions of the disease now what is trending in Bangladesh is uh, three kinds like communicable, non-communicable and re-emerging and emerging diseases. But it's communicable diseases that has been uh, controlled and we can say so prevented also by the immunization program, but the non-communicable disease, the prevalence is really uh, rising and it's getting alarming. So in that aspect, what happened is that non-communicable disease leads to chronicity, and this is why we need the healthcare facilities more uh, supportive, because when we are going for buying or getting the healthcare services, uh, the, I mean, going to buy it, and the out-pocket expenditure is uh, getting like 67 percentage. So it's a high, you know. So uh, we are already in a state of, uh, we are low, so low income country. And if we go buying the healthcare, uh, healthcare facilities and it's 67 percent of out-pocket expenditure, so we are leading to more poverty. So in that aspect, if we think that is that there is a options of any health insurance scheme, uh, that will be uh, wonderful for people uh, of uh, my country. But as because there was no uh, kind of health insurance scheme and people are not aware. So before uh, providing such a scheme in the country, we need to see uh, the awareness, the perceptions, perceptions of the potential consumer in that aspect. I have done this research. Okay, please continue while it connects. Okay, please, please continue talking. So my objectives of my study uh, was to assess the level of de and determinants of perceptions regarding health insurance among potential consumers in Bangladesh. And the specific objectives were to assess the perceptions regarding health insurance among potential consumers and to find out the factors influencing the perceptions of potential consumers about health insurance. My methodology was, uh, this study uh, was an exploratory study and was conducted through a cross-sectional survey using both qualitative and quantitative approaches in urban and semi-urban settings. The sampling method, uh, out of four out of seven administrative divisions of Bangladesh were purposely selected. Four divisional cities were taken as urban setting and two upazilas and sub-districts which have municipalities from each district were selected as semi-urban settings. Multi-state sampling was used to select the sample. Out of seven divisions, the four largest divisions that is Dhaka, Chittagong, Kulna, and Rashahi were selected purposely to get the highest number of population. Four divisional headquarters <coughs> were selected purposely as urban areas. From each divisional district, two upijalas considered as semi-urban areas were selected randomly. Both the government and non-government offices were selected purposely, representing different types of working groups. The respondents from each selected office were taken purposely, involving all ranks. The consumers were included in the study from different levels of employer of formal sector only. So what I did is that my sampling frame was the potential consumers were divided into government level and non-government level. And among the government level, the policy makers were taken, and among them were also government officials. And from the non-government sector, we, we, I took health insurance provider and some non-governmental officials. 
with a mannequin. Data collection? The data collected work through a face to face interview and in, in depth interview of the potential consumers, and uh, it was uh, pre tested for Kenya. The pre testing was done among the employees of the government office and private bank for the validation of the questionnaire before finalization. The survey was conducted among the government and non government officials of the selected districts and upazilas. For the qualitative assessment, Seven in-depth interviews were conducted with the policymakers and health insurance providers to assess their perception. For guiding the discussion, a structured questionnaire was used. For accuracy of the finding, the interviews were recorded and note was taken. For the data management, all possible measures had been taken to maintain good quality of the data. For quantitative data management, at the end of the data collection through a semi-structured interview questionnaire, they were edited and coded. To avoid the chance of missing inconsistency after collection of data every day, the data were checked with full attention and sincere efforts and kept in sequence cells in which those have been numbered. The data were entered into a personal computer using program SPSS version 20. Entered the data were clean, edited, and appropriate statistical tests were done depending on the distribution of the data. For the qualitative management, all possible measures had been taken to maintain a good quality of data. Documentations were done by tape recorders, notes, and observations. At the end of the in depth interview, through a guiding question, discussion, the data were transcribed word to word that is verbatim, non-verbal expressions were also considered. This involved asking questions, listening to, and recording answers from an individual on a structured, semi-structured, or unstructured format in an in-depth manner. To avoid the chance of missing an inconsistency after interview every day, the data were checked with full attention and sincere efforts and kept in sequences in those who have been numbered. Data analysis plan were analyzed. These data were analyzed using statistical software, version SPSS version 20. Logical checking was done to see any inconsistencies. Both descriptive inferential statistics were used. In case of univariate analysis, data were presented are presented as mean, median, and standard deviation, interquartile range, frequency, and proportion. Chi-square test and t-test were done as bivariate analysis were appropriate. One-way ANOVA and Pearson correlation was also done. Perception was assessed by three points Likert skill, asking 13 questions for each response, either agree, neutral, or disagree. Total percentage was measured. In the case of measured level of perception, the right answer of each question was scored 1 and wrong answer was scored 0. Thus, possible maximum score for 13 questions was 13 and minimum score was 0. Thus, possible maximum score for 13 questions was 13 and minimum score was 0. The minimum standard deviation were calculated first and then the poor, average, and good perceptions were calculated using mean plus minus standard one standard deviation. Qualitative analysis was done by thematic analysis. Categorizing and indexing were done to make sense of the data collected and to highlight the important messages, features, or findings. The data were analyzed in three phases. At first, data was transcribed, and the themes were identified and named and reviewing the transcription, the findings were put into appropriate themes. Finally, the important findings were quoted. I had some limitation in the study, uh, that is for the potential consumer of a adult age 25 to 64 years in the selected geographical area. The consumers were included in the study from different levels of employer or formal sector. Since health insurance is a rare thing and it could be very difficult to find perceptions from informal sector and below poverty line population who were not in practices on awareness. In this perspective, 
we could not include the informal sector and below poverty line population. So the result might not be generalized. We also had time, uh, sorry, I also had time constraint and this recommends for further study involving informal sector and below poverty line population. Now. Please tell us which page you are. Coverage. Section in, number, page number. Uh, this is 3.2 and you see in the page 24. Page 24. Peace and provision of universal health coverage. In 1986, public health and health promoters determined and stated in what became known as Ottawa Charter, WHO 1986, that the fundamental conditions and resources for health are peace, shelter, education, food, income, and a stable ecosystem, sustainable resources, social justice, and equity. Not only in peace, the first prerequisite for a secure foundation for health, but war also undermines each of the other conditions fundamental to health. To improve the health of the population, it is our responsibility to reduce violence and promote peace, especially in settings of impending and actual and recent violent conflict. Peace through health then refers to those ways that peace is advanced through work from the health sector. Another conceptual transposition from health studies to peace studies is elaboration of the idea of prevention. In the health arena, primary prevention applies to action on the chain and causes preceding the onset of illness or injury. In the peace arena, it means acting on the multiple causal factors leading to eruptions of violence. Secondary prevention in health involves action to shorten the course, course of war and to mitigate its effects on population. Tertiary prevention applies to action to rehabilitate the person after illness and injury or in the population and the society after the damage of war. Peace and health are both widely agreed upon good human goods. Both are often proposed as human rights. Poverty, war, or other violence, environmental degradation, disintegration of community, poor governance, poor human rights observance. All these factors are known to be correlated with lower levels of population health. A peaceful society is one of the goals of ethical societies. The Dalai Lama say peace can only last where human rights are respected and where the people are fed and where individuals and nations are free. Peace is the presence of calm, human unity, personal safety, sufficiency, agreement, freedom, ecological health, and human well-being. Peace is based on love. Peace is central issues in bioethics, which can be interpreted as love of life, among, which, among whose central principles are beneficence, non-maleficence, autonomy, and justice. Peace is in accordance with good human qualities. For example, the cardinal virtues of prudence, justice, fortitude, and temperance, the Ten Commandments, the pillars of Islam, the central tenets of Buddhism. Peace is unity, a common bond of humanity for all different peoples, connected in tolerance and harmony despite a diversity of beliefs. Peace is tranquility, serenity, the presence of nature, good mood, healthy body, and calm mind. Peace is good, the subjects of ethics. Peace is when people are able to resolve their conflicts without violence and can work together to improve the quality of their lives. Peace is when 
everybody lives in safety without fear of threat and violence. No form of violence is tolerated in law and practice. But everyone is equal before the law. The systems of justice are trusted, trusted and fair and effective laws that protect people's rights. Everyone is able to participate in shaping political decisions and government is accountable to people. Everyone has fair, equal access to basic needs for their well-being such as food, clean water, shelter, education, health care and a decent environment. Everyone has an equal opportunity to work and make a living regardless of gender, ethnicity or any other aspect of identity. So peace is a multidimensional concept that can be viewed through the lens of both negative and positive peace. Negative peace is the absence of violence and absence of fear of violence. Positive peace is attitude, structures and institutions that underpin peaceful societies. It is the, the presence of human rights, equitable distribution, resource, good relations and with neighbors and more. So in that sense, I would like to say that in every aspect, whatever I have just discussed about getting peace in the environment and if, if be, being in peace in a country, that is the health, if we are not healthy and if we are not being supported from by taking the health care service, that is also we are going to be considered as not being in peaceful condition. So I would like to move to the uh, result section now. That is in the page. Can you the chart you see? Hmm? The chart is passed on. Oh, there's some piece. There's some piece. This is the piece, picture, uh, graph. Showing the components that is that is into the piece. That is function, fu well-functioning government, equitable distribution of resources, free flow of information, sound business environment, high level of human capital, acceptance of the rights of others, low levels of corruption, good relation with neighbors. These are the components of a peaceful environment. So I will go to the result sections now. So that is the chapter four. Uh, it's in the page uh, 47. So, uh, the socio-demographic characteristic shows that total respondents, that is 80.5% uh, uh, were men. The highest proportion, uh, that is 84.5% were men were observed in Chittagong Division, whereas highest proportion, that is 25.8% of women were observed in Dhaka Division. The mean age of the respondent was 38.1 uh, 38.1 years, and the highest mean age was 40.1 plus minus 9.9 uh, years was observed in Russia division, whereas the lowest mean age was 36.6 uh, years was observed in both Dhaka and Chittagong division. More than two thirds, that is 44 percent, of the respondents were in the age group of 25 to 34 years and more than one quarter of the respondents were in the age group of 35 to 44 years. Majority of the respondents were in their productive age group. Regarding the education, most uh, the respondents' uh, mean education was 13.6 years, whereas the highest 14.1 uh, year of education was observed in Kulna division, and the lowest, that is 13.3, years in both Dhaka and Chittagong division. Regarding the marital status, majority 82% of the respondents were married, whereas 18% were single. Highest number of the respondents, uh, that is 92.7% was reported married in Russia division, whereas 74.2% respondents from Dhaka division reported married. On the other hand, the highest number of the respondents from the Dhaka division reported as single. Regarding the family status, uh, more than half, that is 53% of the respondents were head of the, their family. Rest of them were earning members, that is 29%, and spouse were 17%. More than a quarter, that is, of the respondents reported other positions like general member. The highest number, that is 62%, were respondents from Russia division reported that they, had, uh, they were the head of the families 
and in the same time highest number of earning members also reported from the same division. Less than quarter of the respondents from Dhaka division reported as false and that, that is 22.1%. Regarding the family size, the family member's uh, size was 4.8, whereas uh, 5.4 were uh, observed in Chittagong Division and small size that is 4.5 in Kulna Division. And the monthly income, the median monthly income of the respondents was 25,000 taka, whereas the highest was a 28,000 taka income which was observed in Chittagong Division. Regarding the living area, more than half of the respondents were from urban areas, 30% were from semi-urban areas, and 16% were from rural areas. The highest proportions of the respondents were from Russia division, were from the urban area, where 19% Kulna divisions were from the rural area. Uh, this is the table, uh, as because I have discussed, so I'm not going to go to the table, I'm going to go uh, uh, to the Table 4, that is the general distribution of the respondents according to their general health status and treatment seeking behavior. So I'll just read this text. Uh, table, uh, that is the table 4, shows that general health status of the respondents. Regarding the history of last time sickness, almost one third of the respondents reported that they were sick within the preceding one month and it was jointly found higher in Chittagong and Rosh Shahid. In case of the respondents' family members, more than half of them were sick within the preceding one month. It was reported highest in Chittagong and lowest in Kulna Division. Regarding the treatment-seeking behavior, more than two-thirds of the respondents visited the medical doctors, which was found highest in Chittagong Division, lowest in Dhaka Division. On the other hand, of all respondents visited the chemist, the pharmacist, highest uh, being in Chittagong Division. Again, the 10.2% of the respondents took self-medication, which was highest in Dhaka division, that is 13%. Only 8.1% of the respondents visited homeopath doctors. Regarding the healthcare facilities used by the respondents of their family members, more than two-fifths went to the public hospitals, that was highest in Kulna division, and 45% and, and, 45 and lowest in the Chidawang division, that is 39.6%. 36.4% went to private hospitals, that is clinic, and uh, lowest 33% in Kulna division. Almost one-fifth, that is 20% of the respondents, went to general practitioners, and which was found highest, 24% in Russia division. Regarding the median medical assistance seeking behavior in a year, it has been found six times in a year, whereas it was highest in Chittagong and lowest in Kulna. That is five times in a year. More than two-thirds, that is 68.9% of the respondents, faced difficulties in affording necessary medical care, which was highest than 71% in Russia division. The median annual household expenditure of medical care was 18,000 taka, which was highest in Chittagong Division and uh, lowest in Kulna Division, that is 15,000 taka. Now, uh, Table 5, that is distribution of the respondents according to perceptions of the health insurance. Uh, that is in the page uh, 57. Uh, this table shows perceptions of the respondents about health insurance by asking 13 simple statements. Their responses were recorded using three points like their scales, that is disagree, neutral, and agree. Almost all, that is 99% respondents, agreed with the first statement, that is everyone has equal right to access to health care services irrespective of the locality. The second statement was, I should pay for my health care. I found mixed type of perceptions like 41.8% of the respondents agreed while 31.1% disagreed and 19.2% were neutral. The highest percent, that is 56 per number of the respondents in Dhaka division disagreed with this statement, whereas highest, that is 54% number of respondents from Kulna Division agrees. 
On the other hand, more than a quarter that is, of the respondents from Qigong Division were in neutral position. The third statement was that government should pay for my health care. More than three-fifths, that is 62% of the respondents agreed with this statement, while 19% disagreed and 19% were neutral. The respondents from the Russia Division were the highest among those who agreed, while those in Dhaka Division were the highest among those who disagreed. The fourth statement was, both me and the government should contribute for my health care. The majority, that is 70 percent of the respondents, agreed with this statement irrespective of their locations. Only 16 percent disagreed with the statement. The fifth statement was organization should pay for my health care. More than three-fifths, that is 70 percent of the respondents, agreed to the statement, whereas 16 percent disagreed. And 72 uh, percent of the Kulna Division people were the highest that agreed, and on the uh, other hand, highest number disagreed, that is in Taka division. The highest number of neutral were in uh, Chittagong division. The sixth statement was only the people and their families will get their medical aid through employers of an organization. Three fifth, that is 62% of the respondent disagreed with the statement, 23% agreed, and 15% were neutral. The highest, that is 67%, of the respondent disagreed in Russia division, while 27 agreed in Kulna division. The seventh statement was, prepayment system is suitable for health insurance scheme. More than a quarter of the respondents disagreed with the statement, that is 28%, 59% agreed, and 13% were neutral. The respondents from Russia division were more disagreeing, that is 34%, with this statement. On the other hand, respondents from Dhaka, that is 61%, as well as Kulna, 62% division, agreed to this statement. The A statement was, tax, pay tax payment system is suitable for health insurance scheme, with which 47% respondent disagreed, 39% agreed, and 15% were neutral. More than half, that is 53% of the respondents, which is highest in number among all divisions from Russia division disagreed and with this statement and 43% from Kulna division agreed. The ninth statement was only the people should be covered by private health insurance, those who has liability. Majority, that is 76% of the respondents disagreed with this statement, 14% agreed, 10% were neutral. More respondents from Russia division disagreed with the statement and more respondents from the Dhaka division agreed that is 19%. The 10th statement was some people should be covered by public and some people by private health insurance. More than half, that is 59% of the respondent disagreed with this statement. However, 22% agreed and 19% were neutral. The respondents from Kulna division disagreed 61% more, whereas the respondents from Dhaka division agreed that is 26% more compared to other division. The 11th statement was healthcare coverage should be for all. That is only 5% of the respondents disagreed and 91% agreed and 4% were neutral. The highest number, 94% of the respondents were from Chittagong division with this, uh, and where 7% disagree. The 12th statement was healthcare coverage should be only for the taxpayers. Majority, that is 83% of the respondents disagree with the statement where 6% agree and 11% were neutral. The respondents from Dhaka division disagree 90% and more than the statement and where the respondents from Kuna division agree. The 13th statement was every people will get the equal health services, whatever the payment. Majority, 94% of the respondents agreed with the statement, 2.5% disagree, 2.9% were neutral. The respondents from the Chittagong division agreed, that is 94%. Finally, it could be said that mixed type 
type of perception was perceived among the respondents from different country, different areas of the country. Now come to the table six, that is distribution of the respondents according to individual choice and modality for the payment of the health insurance. So that is in the page uh, number 61. This table shows that under health insurance scheme, nearly half of the respondents, that is 47%, were interested to take medical care from public hospitals, 17.9% from private hospitals, 31.8% from the public and private hospitals, and 1.6% from the non-governmental organizations, while 1.9% had other choices. Almost similar variation has been reported in all, sorry, in all divisions. Regarding preferred locations of healthcare facilities under health insurance scheme, more than half of the respondent, that is 52% preferred nearby their residence, 9% nearby their workplace, 15.3% had no preference, while 23% chose other options. The majority, that is 70% of the respondents, preferred their payment through banking methods. 6.5 preferred organization, 3.5 preferred through agent, 12.4 preferred through electronic fund transfer. The respondents from the Chittagong preferred banking method more, whereas 17.3% 17 responded from the Kulna preferred electronic fund transfer method. So, uh, the, regarding the preferred to pay their health insurance, about 46% say that is once in a month and 13.3% quarterly, 9.5% half yearly, and 26.3% uh, yearly. Uh, now I'll go to the table seven, that is distribution of the respondent according to the health insurance related other information, and that will be in the page number 65. So of the total respondents, 52% of the 5.2% uh, uh, had insurance, highest being in Chittagong Division, and lowest was in Russia Division. And uh, among that, 75% uh, of them were health insurance coverage for the entire family, and majority had health insurance that is in highest in Kulna, and lowest in Chittagong, that is 55.6%. Uh, almost all of the respondents, that is 99.2 family members, did not have any insurance history. And more than two-fifths, uh, that is 42.4% of the respondents ha who had no health insurance, did not have any knowledge about it. Okay. Uh, some important findings that was noted, that is 24%, other options show that they express their views as not having health insurance due to providers negligence, low standard services, cheating, corruption, lack of proper information, lack of opportunity, financial difficulty, lack of government initiative, and absence of health insurance system in the organizations as well as in the country. Now the table eight, that is respondents' perceptions about health insurance based on urban and semi-urban area. So that will be in the page uh, 69. Uh, regarding the perceptions of health insurance, the respondents who were interviewed by the statements and answer were recorded using three Likert scale, that is disagree. And uh, yeah, the first statement was everyone has equal right to access to healthcare services. Uh, almost 99% uh, of the respondents from the urban agreed to the statement. And uh, regarding that, I should pay for the health care, uh, uh, perceptions like 36.6% urban responded and 41.3% semi urban disagreed regarding this statement. Mm, as I have stated above the of the uh, statement, I think I will just keep the result and come to the table nine, that's perceptions of health insurance based on their job rank. That is in the page uh, 74. Regarding the healthcare payment, mixed findings were observed that 40.1% officers, 42.7% office assistants, and 44.6% supporting staff agreed to pay their healthcare expenses. Almost three-fifths of the officers, that is 
office assistant 62.3 and the majority of the supporting staff 69.8 percent agreed that the government should pay their health care and the differences was significant two-thirds of the officers that is 16 67 point 67 percent and the three-fourth of the office assistant supporting staff agreed that bo both they had they and the government should contribute to their health care nearly two-thirds of the officers uh, agreed to this uh, statement disagreed to the statement that only the people and their families will get their medical aid through their employers organization regarding the pay payment system 61.3 percent officer 64.6 percent office assistant and less than half that's 45.9 percent of the supporting staff agreed that pre payment system uh, that is uh, agreed to the tax payment system majority of the respondents uh, from the ranks uh, all ranks agreed that the health coverage should be for all and uh, regarding the health care coverage should be only for the taxpayers 85.4 percent of the officers agreed to it of all the respondents from different rank agreed that everybody will get the equal health services Regarding, uh, that is in the page 79, regarding the health insurance based on government and non-government organization, regarding the health insurance perceptions of government and non-government employees, I saw a mixed type of perception, significant difference, uh, p-value less than 0 0.05, difference has been found for the statement, I should pay for the health care, that was highly, and highly significant, that is p-value point. Uh, 001 difference has been found for the statement government should pay for the health care and almost three-fourths of the government respondents 68 percent government agreed to the statement both me and the government should contribute but that was not found any significant another significant difference was found regarding organization should pay for my health care that is formal sector regarding the perceptions and the government and the non-government employees varied only with the statement only the people and the families will get their medical aid through employers organization but it was not significant <coughs> the highly significant perception was that is 0 0.006 was variation was found regarding the statement tax payment is suitable for the health insurance scheme uh, surprisingly almost significant perceptional variation has been observed uh, among the respondents regarding the statement health care coverage should be all for all <coughs> so uh, this is the figure uh, that is in the page 80 uh, showing the perceptions level that is uh, average perception has been shown to be 57.8 percent and uh, 21.4 percent good perception and poor perception is 21.8 percent mm. page 83 uh, that is I have done one one-way ANOVA test uh, the, between the relationship of respondents positions and willingness to pay for health insurance and uh, uh, it, were, it is a highly significant variation has been observed between the rank of the respondents and willingness to pay for the insurance uh, and also uh, whereas we found point, uh, p value point zero zero two difference between the officers and office assistants and highly significant difference that is p point zero zero one difference between the officers and supporting staff but no difference for the <coughs> office assistants and supporting staff And uh, this is a scatter plot uh, that is showing uh, a significant, uh, that is in the page 84, there is a significant uh, positive correlation has been observed between the monthly income and the willingness to pay for the health insurance among the respondents. This is another scatter plot that is uh, plotted on the eight page 85 and it is being seen that a significant positive correlation has also been observed between the <coughs> willingness to pay the monthly installment with the respondents years of education for Pearson correlation coefficient now in the page 86 uh, 
I have taken the uh, interviews and uh, regarding this, uh, I'll read some of the statement uh, that has been given by the policy maker because the in-depth uh, uh, interview has been taken uh, on policy makers. So the all, all policy makers say that government should pay for the people of the country as its welfare state. Also two of them gave their opinion that individual can contribute partially with the government. For example, another policy maker expressed his views as depending on the situation, if low expenditure, then pay from own pocket. If more clinical care needed, then go to government hospital. Regarding current medical aid system in Bangladesh, uh, one of the policymakers say we should have a structural health system or mechanism which rescue us with dignity where all we will contribute according to our affordability. Regarding the perceptions of health insurance, one of the policymakers stated affluent people have options to go anywhere and they can buy any kind of treatment anywhere but the poor cannot afford to go anywhere rather than to government hospital. They should be given support by the government. So the health insurance should be a family-wise like family income and affordability. What I can pay, my office assistant cannot pay. So prepayment insurance scheme should be introduced considering the salary scale. There was another statement by the policymaker, when I suffer, other people are paying for me. So when other people suffer, I do pay for them. Uh, regarding the payment methods, one of the policymakers stated that payment issues should be given to my employer that how much money they are going to pay for me and how frequently they want to pay. He also mentioned insurance should have flat rate of payment according to their capacity. Regarding the service receiving modalities, I will show my health insurance card. I will take the service from hospital and hospital will give me the bills and I will submit to my organization which will be adjusted with my insurance scheme through bank. I will not pay in cash. Regarding the quality of service, uh, one respondent say <coughs> they prefer to go to Dhaka Medical College Hospital if you get the health insurance support. So the recommendations of, from the participants was health insurance is needed for all. Where it is possible to pay by person, it is okay. But where that is not possible to pay, then go to the government, uh, sorry, the, then the government will pay or the company will pay for it. And the government may give the chance to private sector to handle the national health insurance. And I will encourage private sector to introduce the health insurance, but that should be administered and monitored properly by the government. Uh, that was for the results sections, and uh, I will go to my conclusions. Uh, that is, from the study findings, it could be concluded that our people believe that health coverage should be for all, and every people should get the equal health services, but they are still not prepared for any prepayment health system. Moreover, providers' negligence, low standard services, cheating, corruption, and lack for proper information have already created a bad impression in their mind about the health insurance. So a proper health insurance scheme should be developed, first considering people's choice, and trial should be given before launching to generate evidence and examine the suitability of the scheme. Tax payments may be a good option, but there should be a strong accountability and transparency. Government has to work to gain the trust of the people first. The recommendations are based on this study is a suitable health insurance scheme should be initiated by the government and considering the people's choice, private sector may be subsidized in service providing leading by the government. The quality of the service of the government hospital should be improved so that people enjoy the health insurance services by, uh, provided by the government facilities. The health prov service providers' attitude should be changed to increase the acceptance of the health insurance by the general people. And different awareness programs should be initiated to increase the perceptions of the people regarding the health insurance. And that was all, and thank you very much.
Thank you. So please, Taslimi, you have yeah, some questions? I wanted to ask you. Yeah. Uh, you talk about peace and you talk about health insurance, but I was thinking, you know, how do you relate uh, peace with health insurance? Another thing which came to my mind is uh, Bangladeshi people uh, accepting insurance, their attitude. Uh, did you go into that uh, perspective? What is the attitude of the people? Do they agree for you know uh, insurance paid by themselves, yes. not by the government? Uh, yes, I, I I had discussed about it. Uh, yeah, they did not uh, sub, it, uh, because I had done the study in four different divisions. <laughs> different divisions uh, results came differently. So, but mostly what they said is that uh, they. They are. They want this kind of insurance coverage, but if the government support is more, that is better because uh, our socioeconomic, as regarding the, uh, I mean the income level, because the scheme if they pay, uh, if uh, support is more from the government, it is better. That was their last opinion. Even the policymaker also say they agreed, but. They want the, not from the private hospital, but they were more inclined towards the government hospitals to be more improved and the scheme should be provided from there. And they did not want to pay by cash, rather they wanted to pay to the organization, um, government organization who will be uh, monitoring the tax payment schemes and everything. You know, another thing was that tax payment and insurance. How no, 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 sorry, not that. tax payment, insurance, sorry, so not tax payment, insurance, sorry. That was my next question, no, no. Yeah, I tax understand. payment and insurance, how do you correlate with that? Uh, one thing was in my question was that whether the taxpayers will only be liable to pay the insurance coverage and not the other. Those who are not into tax paying, they should not be in the insurance scheme. But uh, you are asking me, whether to give my opinion or the result that has been. Uh, so uh, there were different opinions, different, <coughs> different uh, divisions, but mostly they, they agreed. But the policymakers said that it's not, uh, there was a statement like, if, the, if everybody is giving uh, the scheme, when I am sick, that means the payment is going to come from there. So why not? I am liable, so I am more, uh, as because I am giving the tax, that means I am I'm already in a level that I can be into the uh, insurance scheme, so I should be giving more. So only the taxpayers will pay the insurance? Yeah, some of the opinions came like that. So taxpayers... So the persons were not taxpayers, they will not be given any insurance. No, not, not like that, but they were different opinions. Some said it's not like that everybody should be giving some uh, scheme, but the other pers other groups say, okay, the taxpayers are more liable because we cannot burden the lower socioeconomic people because if I, if I get sick, the rich people, because their scheme will be the one giving the money. So it's not like that. So poor will get more poor rather than not involving them, only the taxpayer can be. Involved in scheme. Yeah. Okay. Good. So, uh, is there any universal health coverage for vaccination for children in Bangladesh? Yes, uh, we are definitely under the EPI uh, expanded program on immunization, and uh, we have uh, different. And the achievement is very good. And because of that, the communicable diseases, the prevalence of communicable diseases has gone very. I mean, very low now, and one of the disease like polio, we have already achieved to. We can say it's been uh, eradicated. Uh, nearly, it's more than seven to eight years. More than that, I think. So, immunization program is very successful. Very, very successful. Okay, but that's some vaccines are not included. For example. Uh, what about? No, uh, can I say like BCG is there, yeah. the pentavalent is there, the polio is there, and mm -hmm. recently uh, the, the oh, hepatitis influenza virus that one is also included, and hepatitis inside that pentavalent and MMR also has been included recently. Okay, that is mouse measles. So that's pentavalent. an example of health insurance working in the country, which you could mention. Um, 
Another question yeah. was that, uh, how do you represent Bangladesh, your study? How does it represent Bangladesh? Uh, this health insurance? Yes. Yeah, because uh, health insurance, uh, because we are in, because sustainable development, so sustainable development, to achieve this sustainable development, one of the component is in the health is uh, getting the health uh, universal health coverage. And in this universal health coverage, health insurance, uh, I mean, uh, to cut down the health cost, uh, if we want to get into this goal, then health insurance is a must. So I must say no, no, that... That was not my question. My sorry. question was... You were saying I, I took empirical from four divisions. Yeah, yeah. But <coughs> does that represent the whole of Bangladesh? Can you say your your thesis represents Bangladesh? Uh, I already said into my limitations because it was only done in formal sector. Further study needs because insurance is not yet so much elaborating our country. This is just to know the from the perceptions of the formal sector. But informal sector, I have not included. So maybe next uh, next research might be, of course, should be included the lower section people, informal people, I must say. Then I can conclude the post and uh, things, and I can come up with a conclusion that whether really how to proceed and all, because uh, I have only done in the formal sector, not the informal sector. That was my limitation of my study. Any other questions? Yes, Amalia. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just curious about uh, what is the critical point in your insulin health, right? also the challenging point that why you should be topic to to do research. Like what what is the rationale? Why are you why are you doing this? Oh, okay. Objectivity. Objectivity. Okay, because uh, I already just now said because uh, to achieve the sustainable development goal. Uh, and this is one of the component that sustainable development goal, universal health coverage. So universal health coverage to achieve, uh, to cut down the with efficient health care, quality health care, and cutting down the cost. And if we want to cut down the cost, uh, health insurance is a must. So, but in our country, the health insurance is not yet, uh, from the government level, it's not there. But some small scheme has been provided by the private organization. So if, uh, if we do not do the perceptions related studies and more, more, over, more studies regarding this health interest, how people are going to take, before doing these basic studies, uh, then we will not be able to successfully generate this health insurance scheme into the population because people doesn't even know what is there. So before that, we need to know the perceptions level, then we can go for the second phase of giving the insurance. And did, did do you do this the uh, What is the area that have the list on a uh, <coughs> lot of the problem of the healthcare if you do the research? What are the most important needs in the healthcare system? But what are the gaps caused by the lack of universal health care? Oh, that, that one was not included. We just, I just did the perceptions, uh, like asking what are the modalities, what they want, what are they thinking, what are their perceptions, that, that is the thing I study. I think, you know, we uh, have covered everything, and I think... Uh, well, so we may have some more. Um, any questions on Skype? For the uh, oral questions, please. We have a uh, Professor Len is also on the Skype uh, listening, and a few other faculty as well here. Anke has no questions here. It's all okay. So I, I think um, as we see different countries develop, we need um, to establish universal you know, health care. So the, the work is very important. Very important. Um, and we hope that the government will pay attention to it. Yeah. So thank you very much for your work.